What's happening, friends? Today we're gonna do another cold call video. It has been a while since we've done one. I wanna say it's been about six weeks. So it's time to dive in and get after it today. So, like I said, I think it's been about six weeks since we've done this. We have been very busy. We've been locking up deals left and right though, so I cannot complain there. Bert, we're gonna dive on in. We are going to dive on in. <laughs> Calling up. Please enter your PIN number. Boom. That's set up. Let's get Madden number. rolling. Please press the start button on your screen to begin calling. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Like I said, it's Monday morning, so Madden might not go very well. Uh, I tend to do better at Madden towards the end of the week. Have a little bit more practice. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we get some answers on this Monday morning. All right. Voice messaging system. Please leave your name and phone number and I'll get back to you. So our last Monday, called for a little while, and we had booked two appointments from last Monday's calling session. We went on both appointments. We're waiting to hear back from one of them, um, but we locked up the other deal. And that's for another video for you. You're going to be excited about that one. It's a good one. As always, we will go for about 10 contacts for the calling session. That is always the plan. Hello? Yes. Hi, this is Phil. Yeah. Phil, how you doing? This is Luke. Uh, sorry that the call here is a little out of the blue. Uh, but I was calling about a property, I believe, you own on Bertrand Street. Yeah, forget it. It's where it's not for sale. Okay, no worries. Well, thanks for your time anyway. Yeah, bye-bye. Forget it. Not happening. Not selling to you. Hello. Yeah, is this Robert? Yep. Robert, how you doing? This is Luke. Uh, sorry that the call is a little out of the blue here. Uh, but I was calling about a property I believe you own over on Link Smith. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, I wanted to give you a quick phone call, and I just wanted to see if you would ever consider an offer on that property. If you ever consider selling it? <laughs> well, if I did, I'd be out on the street, because I live in it, and I'm oh, not to move. So. I hear you. Okay. No, no worries at all, then. I don't want, I don't want that to happen. Uh, well, thanks so much for your time, yeah. then, anyway, Robert. You, you happen to have any other properties you would consider selling, though? Well, I've got four properties. One, one's a uh, semi-rental to a friend. Another one my son-in-law is living in because my daughter kind of threw him out. And uh, two of them I use seasonally. Oh, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. So not really, so not really any... Is, yeah, I have properties, but I'm not interested in selling. For sure. I have no debt, in that, and I have no reason to sell, so... Makes sense. I definitely understand that. Uh, well, no worries okay, at all. Well, thank thanks you. so much for your time. Bye. I appreciate it. Robert's not interested in selling. Hello? Hello? Uh, is this Ray? Maybe I can't hear. Yeah, is this Ray? I think there's something talking, but I can't hear. I'm sorry. It's a damn recording. Is this, is this Ray? Hello? Huh. I'm not going to talk to Ray, I guess. Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Mrs. Stott? Who? Mrs. Stott? No, you must have the wrong number. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, have a good one.
Oh, beautiful. It's a pick. It's a pick. Hi, we're not home right now. Please. Set up yet. Goodbye. Hello. Hi, is this Fred? Excuse me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, is this Fred? Yes. Fred, how you doing? This is Luke. Uh, sorry that the call is a little out of the blue here. Uh, but I was calling about a property I believe you own over on Mohawk Drive. Oh, I am so not interested. But oh, okay. You have a great day. Hey, not a problem. Thanks so much for your time. All right, thanks. Bye. Oh, of course. Have a good one. No worries, Fred. Hmm. Hello, this is Russ. Hey, Russ, how you doing? This is Luke. Uh, sorry that the call here is a little out of the blue. Uh, but I was calling about a property I believe you own over on Clay Ave. Yeah, it's a rental house, and just being a rental for now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, no worries. Um, you know, do you think you'd have any interest in selling that property? Uh, probably not anytime soon. So yeah. I just signed a two-year lease, so. Oh, okay, okay. Be tenants in there for a while. For sure, no, that makes sense. Uh, do you happen to have any other properties you maybe would consider selling, or no? Oh, no, that's it. Yeah, okay. No, no worries at all. Then, Russ, well, well, thanks so much for your time anyway. Okay, yeah, good luck with your search. All right, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay, have a good one. That Russ, just real nice fellow. That tight end screen is filthy. <laughs> wow. Hello? This guy's pretty good, though, I can tell.
household. I'm sorry that we missed your call, but please leave it. Voice messaging system. Nine, two, eight, nine, six, three. Hmm. Oh, this is a big play here. What do I want to do? Hello? Hello? Is it Eric? It's Eric. Eric, yeah, how you doing? This is Luke. Uh, sorry that the call here is a little out of the blue. Uh, but I was calling about a property, I believe, you own over on University Ave? Um, I'm not interested in selling right now. Thank you, though. Okay, no worries. Well, thanks for your time anyway. Bye. All right, bye now. Uh, Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi, is this Mr. Meyer? No. No? Okay, uh, I might have the wrong number. Sorry about that. Yep. Okay, have a good one. Oof. <laughs> Call. Please leave a message. Speak after the tone. about that. Please leave your message for four eight zero two zero six. Yeah, hi, I'm sorry. Is this Mr. Fry? Yeah, speaking. Yeah, Mr. Fry, this is Luke. Uh, sorry that the call is a little out of the blue here. Uh, but I was calling about a property, I believe, you own over on Willow Loop. Yes. Yeah, I wanted to give you a quick call, and I just wanted to see if you would ever consider an offer on that property, if you'd ever consider selling it. Uh, I would not consider anything less than 500. 500 would be the, the number you'd be looking for on it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, what I can do is I'll speak with my partner, kind of run some numbers on that, and you know, if I think that I can make that work, I'll definitely give you a call back and let you know. Yeah, it's uh, it's been remodeled. It uh, had a burst, a water pipe, uh, about a year and a half ago, uh -huh. and uh, so it's been it's been totally remodeled. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. And then is that is Bye. that behind you? Is that currently a is that currently a lake right now, or is that dried up? Is what? Is that currently a lake behind the house, or is that currently dried up? The lake? Oh yeah, the lake is is full as far as I know. It's full. Okay, I wasn't too sure. I know there's been a we've had a, a couple that we've seen in the neighborhood there that the, the lakes have been dried up, so I wasn't too sure. 
But um, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, as far as I know, it's a, it's a wonderful view of uh, Mount Eldon. All right. Okay. And, uh, and then that that pro right. that property there is, that's give or take it's about fifteen hundred square feet. Does that sound about right? Uh, I believe it's twelve seventy. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, it's been a while since I looked at that, but it, yeah, it's somewhere close to fifteen hundred. Okay. Okay. Three bedrooms. All right. Three bedroom, two bath. Two bath. Okay. Yeah. Well, just, just so you know, my partner and I, uh, we do buy our properties cash. Uh, we pay closing costs, dock fees, and we don't charge any realtor fees at all. Um, so I mean, our, our offer, you know, it'd literally be just a net cash offer straight into your pocket as is condition and everything. Um, but, you know, just being completely honest with you, um, for just a net cash offer like that, you know, we'd probably, you know, what we've been buying them for for that size in the area would be, you know, probably a little bit closer to maybe, you know, 420 to 450,000 cash. Um, but again, it is you know it is just net in your pocket. Yeah. Do you uh, do you think that's something that you would potentially consider? I uh, don't know. I'd have to check with my uh, family on that because yeah. they're they're <laughs> I'm 86 years old and uh, so I, it all goes to them and uh, for sure, for sure, I get that. They like the property very much. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, is that is that your full time so residence? I, it would be a lot up to them too. No, that makes sense. I get that. Um, is that your full-time yeah. residence, or would there is that kind of like a you know a getaway for you? Yeah, it has been. But my wife passed away five years ago, and oh, I'm sorry to hear a, that. She was in hospital for about eight years, and so I, we just did not get to enjoy it as much. Mm -hmm. I have, I have I built a home over in Katina. Okay. And, um, and my son, since I built it, he wanted it, and so I sold it to him. And um, because I could not climb the steps, and it was about forty steps getting up to the deck. Right, right, and that so, makes sense. Anyway, I, we've been. My wife and I decided to go over in the Continental, and we we just loved it over there. It's just a wonderful spot. Yeah. So. No, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, it was just a, it was just a great condo. It just really fit for us. With right. A nice view and, oh, for and sure. So well, nice. That's a, that's awesome. That's wonderful. Um, well, yeah, we'll gr it was great. For sure. Well, yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe talk to the family then. Kind of let them know that we had this this talk. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll speak with my my business partner. Uh, we'll kind of run some numbers, and you know, you know, I'll try to see where exactly I could be in that range for you. Um, and then, okay. you know, I'll give you a call back maybe a little bit later this week. And if, if it sounds like it's something that could potentially make sense, uh, maybe I could get the chance to, to meet you at the property to take a look at it. Uh, okay. That, uh, that might be a possibility. Yeah, okay. We'll, uh, I'll check with them and see what, see what their uh, feeling is. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Uh, I won't give you too much encouragement, though. Yeah, I get that. No worries but at all. I don't need it. I have no use for it whatsoever. But, for sure. Uh, and I want to be sure that they can afford to keep it. Oh, exactly. You have to keep it up. You have yeah. to keep everything going. Yeah, and yeah. My, my son is, is doing a wonderful job of, of that right now. He just, he's just works on it all the time. So. Oh, well, that's awesome. That's good That's good to hear. Yeah. That's good yeah. to hear. And, and you, sir, your first name was George? I'm George. What's your name? My name is Luke. Luke? Yes, sir. And you're you're there in Flagstaff. Uh, I'm actually in Prescott. Uh, I'm in Prescott. I'm just looking uh, looking for a place in Flag. So that's kind of pretty oh, much what really? I've yeah. It's pretty much what yeah. I've been looking for. So that's why you know it could make sense for me. <laughs> My daughter and uh, two of her children live there in Prescott. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, Prescott's a beautiful place. He's uh, he's one of the pastors over at the Heights. Oh church. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I'm familiar with the Heights Church. I used to, I used to go there, um, uh, probably about ten years back now. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, awesome. Well, that yeah, sounds great. Your name is? Did you say Luke? Yes, sir, Luke. Okay, Luke. Awesome. I'll well, talk, and uh, you can get back with me in next week or so. That sounds wonderful, George. I'll, I'll definitely do that. I appreciate your time. You bet. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Um, 
so that was an interesting one. So that was one of those ones where I ended up being more interested in it after I looked it up a little bit because it does back a lake. So I mean, anytime you're gonna have a house where you can literally go out your backyard and there's a lake back there, um, it's obviously gonna raise those values up. And it is something that maybe Jake and myself would be interested in having an Airbnb on a property for something like that, um, just because it is unique like that. Uh, so we'll see how that one turns out. Um, but I kind of got the impression that his family was not going to be super stoked uh, or interested with him selling the property, which it doesn't surprise me. I wouldn't be super stoked on that either if my parents had a place and they were looking to sell that either. So I'm going to give them a call later this week. Um, let's say I'll give them a call yeah, later this week and see what the familia says. But again, I'm assuming it's going to be a no. Could be a cool proper, property though. 86. Years old. Um, this game is pretty intense right now. I haven't scored, I'm down seven to nothing. Three and a half minutes left. Uh, <laughs> Let's see here. We got a real barn burner. The oh. number two zero six six three. Hello. 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 Yeah. Hi. This is Jody. What do you need? Yeah, this is Luke. Uh, sorry that the call is a little out of the blue here. Uh, but I was calling about a property, I believe, you own on Patriot Drive? Yes. We're yeah. not selling. Oh, okay. No, no worries at all. Well, thanks so much for your time anyway, then. Jody made up her mind a long time ago. This game is getting interesting. Voice messaging system. Four, zero, two, Oof. seven, four, six, zero. Yeah, third and one. Got it. Got it. Ooh. Ooh, 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 this is interesting. Got 30 seconds left. First and goal, down seven nothing. Hi, this is Marion. I thought I was- I'm on the five yard line. Oh no, I don't like this. Oh. Sorry, this is so intense right now. 14 seconds left, five yard line, second and goal. All right, I gotta score. I gotta get this in. Hello, you have reached the Quirky McMillan Company. Please listen carefully to the following menu options. No thanks. If you know your party. Not interested, McQuirkin Company. Guys, I wish you could see this right now. I just gotta buy a second camera. <laughs> Trust me, we're gonna get one. Hello? Hello, Gary Chicago. 
Patrick and Dolls at Chase Commercial Banking. I'm currently unavailable to take your call. Oh. Your call requires immediate assistance. Please contact my colleague, Kara Olesiak, at 9... He's shutting me down right now. I don't like it. He's shutting me down. Hello? Hello? Boom, baby. <laughs> okay, now six to seven. Now I gotta go for two. Gotta go for gotta go for the win. Hello? At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or... Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh man. Hmm. Do I put it in Dalvin's hands? I think I do. I think I do. Oh, I don't know, I don't like this defense. I don't like how it's set up. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Dalvin, baby. Dalvin, that's why you give it to Dalvin. Currently up eight to seven with six seconds left. This guy had me, he had me on the ropes the whole game. He had me right where he wanted me to be. Man, I wish you guys could have caught this one. This was a, whew, this was a good one. Oh, it's not over. It's still six seconds left. I can't blow it. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Breach the Marino residence. It's over. It's over. Eight to seven. I mean, wow. What a game. What a game. Hello? Two, eight, five, zero, two. Alejandro, let's go ahead and pan over to the, uh, to the end of the game score here. Look at that. Eight to seven. Whew. Well. Guys, we didn't get as many contacts in today. We got seven, but we had a wonderful game there. Uh, we got a nice solid lead. Hello? Eight, six, four, two, four, seven. Had a nice lead, six, so we'll see where we can zero. take that. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see here. Hold on. Let me see if we can get one more. All right. Sorry. I was showing that it was calling through one. But anyway. Good calling session. Good calling session. Uh, got us all lead in there. We'll see how this goes with George. Uh, we'll pull some comps on it and see if we think it's possible for us to come higher than that 420. Hello? Hello? See if we think it's possible to come higher than that 420 to 450 on that one. Um, like I said, the values are definitely going to be higher. Uh, than what the estimates are showing on here. It is on a lake. I'm assuming that that is going to raise those values quite a bit. So if it's, a, if it's something we're interested in, I will keep you updated. If hopefully it can turn into an Airbnb for us, it would be an awesome area for one. 
But other than that, like I said, got seven contacts in in a uh, 35, 40 minute calling sesh. So hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back for more next week.